Hello there, and welcome back to game two of the evening of the Sift Takers live coverage of the Sift Takers League. Uh, this is producer Tim, and we'll head to the table and say hello to the players. As soon as I can remember what to click, here we go. And, hey, oh yeah, like I, I like I was not panicking. I knew it was one of those things. It'll arrive when it arrives, kind of thing. <laughs> hey guys, how, how do they ever make money? Let's hey guys, you're now live on Twitch. Uh, so. Uh, don't worry about swearing at parental advisory and all that good stuff. Uh, so we have Gary uh, running uh, Empire, and we Ooh. have <laughs> uh, Connor versus uh, Fly Some Scum. So, uh, like the person he is. It did work. It fit. It fit. So we're going to let you uh, get on, guys. When you're all set up, dial set, and everything like that, just tab the middle of the table. We'll be watching. We'll start the timer along with yours. Cool. cool. Best of luck. Bon chance. Thank you. Right. So I'll just wait for Ben to pop down and join me, and he can start going through the list whilst I get the rest of the stream plays and stuff set up. So uh, really nice of the players in the uh, on our online league uh, offering to come. On the stream and uh, play for everyone's entertainment. Uh, if you're not aware, we do uh, save the uh, the stream games on our Twitch stream for uh, well, they'll be, be up there for a couple of weeks, and then we do upload all the games to our YouTube channel. Uh, so if you've not uh, already, please uh, give us a little subscribe on YouTube, and you'll be able to watch back uh, lots of X-wing coverage. Uh, Hi, yeah. Hello. So I'm just uh, telling everybody about our YouTube channel as well as obviously the Twitch. I need to upload the videos from last week, I think. Oh no, if it wasn't last week, that's why I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. Oh, I've not even... Uh, oh, what a Muppet. Let's uh, actually put uh, the X-Wing on the screen. Uh, so we just had the uh, the holding screen, but it's all good now. It's all good. I'm on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> what, so you could just hear a load of talking and no excellent. Yeah, yeah, well, it's fine. It's fine, you know. It's it's better than the mistakes I would be making if I was in charge of it. Well, you know, this is it. It's, uh, you know, a bit of fun, you know, we, we, we do. It's, uh, uh, you know, once a week thing and, you know, I've got a day job, you've got a day job, so mistakes will happen, but it's all cool. <laughs> So, do you want to run us down the list then, and we can have a look at what fun we have? Yeah, let's let's go for the scum list first because mm -hmm. it's, it's well, something we're seeing quite a lot of now, actually. So you've got you, you got your Boba Fett, um, Maul, Prox Mines, Contraband, Slave One, quite quite a standard uh, Boba, really. The Prox Mines are a bit different, but I guess you just got the points. Then he's gone for Emond. We're seeing a lot of people dropping. Um, I've forgotten what the other one's called now. The other fire spray. Calf Scarlet or? Uh, the Bow Frost. What was the first? Oh, uh... uh, I can't remember her name. The, the stress reroll, anyway. Or, or so Koshka, got e Koshka Frost. Koshka, yeah. You see a lot of people drop Koshka now in favour of uh, Emond. And he's got Cad Bane, uh, Prox Mines, Contraband. Andreas title and seismic charges. So uh, Ian has been running this list a lot, hasn't he? Yeah, he played similar, against... similar sort of list. Yeah, played against me, and that Cad Bane really did catch me out a few times. Yeah, you don't see it coming, do you? You don't, but it is quite hard to plan with the uh, with the fire sprays dial. It's quite hard to try and plan. So it looks like they are ready. Yep, and then uh, the Imperial list. You've got. Nice side shuttle with um, Palpatine, not the title as well, because that's just beautiful on site, isn't it, if you can get the title involved. Yep. Um, and we've got Red Line, he's got advanced sensors, advanced proton torpedoes, and a diamond boron missile. And then we've got Vinder, the arsenal loadout, trick shot, fire control, advanced protons, concussion missiles, and advanced slam. Almost the exact same one I flew at the system open. Mm. Part of me thinks that this is very much a, an anti Nantex list, or possibly both of them are. Uh, you know, with that, with uh, Redline at PS5, going to be able to go before the Nantex. Um, 
Vinda is going to be able to go before with the 190 as the bid as well. Yeah, no, I think this is a nice... Uh, it's kind of a weird aces list, isn't it? It's like the old Imperial aces list with two ships and a shuttle, but these two ships are, you know, ordnance carriers. I am surprised that with them both being uh, ordnance carriers that it's not gendered. Possibly, but I guess maybe the coordinate with Redline. Is Redline's the one that can, after it does an action, can do a target lock, can't it? Yeah, and obviously Sai can coordinate the um, uh, the gunboat. The, the problem is, is with it having advanced slam on the gunboat, you, you tend to be stressed a lot. Mm. And then Sai's, Sai can't do its its tricks. So it looks like we might have a uh, first turn engagement. Uh, we got so he's got a focus token, uh, but he needs target locks, doesn't he, to fire off concussion missiles? Yeah, so we're probably not going to see a, a, a shot from the major, but Bobber's boosting in. <laughs> Bobber does need to watch out though, because all right, you might get the range two shot into. Uh, the gunboat, but that uh, shuttle will start throwing dice at you as well. Hmm. Yes? Hello. Hiya, Tim. Should we have started or not? Yeah, 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 it's all good. Yeah, yeah go for it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You've got some awfully polite players. Like, normally, most weeks, they just crack on and, you know, forget to even tab at the table. So, uh, yeah, so um, Bob has got a range two shot here. Uh, probably Looks like spend... he's out of the shuttle as well. Yeah, so probably spend a force here, won't he, to get two? Yeah, I mean, you're not getting shot back, why not? Yeah. Uh, but then we got uh, two wiggles in defence, so yeah. everything is fine with the world. I imagine that he's going to turn in on um, Emond and try and cause a world of pain. Yeah, slam in and sort of pincer with. I mean, I suppose you could put almost all three Imperial mm. ships into EM on this turn, couldn't you? Yeah. Now we'll look what Diamond Boron is. So that's the one, yeah. I think, is it you spend yeah. an extra charge and everything of. If it hits, everything of the same. You have to roll a dice, don't you? But you'll read it out. It's... Okay, mate. <laughs> Rather than me trying to remember. <laughs> It's a big wordy one. Mm. So after this attack hits, you may spend a charge, each ship at range zero for the defender with equal agility or less than the defender, rolls an attack dice and suffers hit or a crit for the whatever they roll. I guess it's a like you're saying, it's a Nantex thing, isn't it? Yeah, well we had uh, Gary on the podcast and I think um he was saying that he was taking uh one of his um Imperial bombers with diamond borer and missiles specifically for the Nantex uh, because it's their printed uh, agility, not the agility based on tractor tokens. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could quite easily get Redline into range one here. Mm -hmm. Now, you can go slow, maybe, and just boost him into range one because you'll get the free lock anyway. And then if you need it, you can use size uh, help, can't you, I suppose? Yep. But Eamon can be quite a slippery here as well himself, you know, boosting somewhere. Or... Well, this is it, and you've got to be very careful where you put yourself around Eamon, because he can be throwing those proximity mines out with his yeah. three. Uh, yeah, he's got pro proximity mines and seismics, hasn't he? And he could even cad Bane here with Eamon if he wanted. That's what I'm saying. I mean, he shows obviously he hasn't, he hasn't done. Yeah, but, yeah. But Redline needs to be careful as well. Yeah. Because Redline is quite a squishy ship himself. Yeah, so three bank. Uh, possibly could I up a boost here or may just focus. We shall see. But that's quite a nice position he's put himself in for, you know, if that attack shuttle uh, slams in, that could put him in range of a hard three proximity mine or something. Okay, so we have gone with a boost. Um the next level thinking, advanced sensors, focus, take the lock, K turn. <laughs> That's my prediction. <laughs> okay, so nice little uh, two bank, I think that is, clear the stress. Yeah, just take a lock on something, I guess. 
Yeah, I suppose you'll be careful here because Bobber could like turn over maybe and or yeah, you know, we'll see. What's he done? Taking yeah, a lock. Lock him. Lock him yeah. Bobber. I like that the dial gives you the option these days. Yeah. So, I don't know whether he's going to want to take an advanced proton there. Uh, well, he's also going to take the shuttle in the flank as well. I mean, Bob will get two, uh, two re rolls. So, we have got some advanced sensors by looks of things. So, yeah. uh, so, he's revealed his dial, which looks like a one forward. So, what, barrel roll to left, could he? So focus target lock. So red line basically could take target locks after um does other uh actions. Which is absolutely Oh he's done a banker uh, crazy because it thought... gets around advanced sensors, doesn't it? Yeah, I I misread that dial. I thought I saw it as like a one forward or something, but you know, he's done the yeah. bank and he's actually avoided the bump. Um, <laughs> I guess he did the advanced sensors just in case he bumped. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Bobber could be taking a lot of damage here. I mean, Bobber's going to shoot first. Just iron up what ordnance might be coming out. And decide if he shoots front or back. It's obviously going back. I think it's a good so. time to shoot um, Vinder while he's not disabled, uh, weapons disabled, because <laughs> he's not getting that extra dice. Who, who needs Bobber rerolls when you roll four hits yeah. out of hand? So. Ooh. He's going to take three shields and a damage card, I believe. Him, it, oh, he's going to spend his palp, so... Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. So he's just losing his shields. Still not what he wanted, is it, I guess? No, but... I mean, you know, the amount of damage that could potentially go into Bobber now. So it looks like we have a Diamond Boron missile coming out of Red Line. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like he flips his charge. A, I don't know what... Prime is it a two dice primary? Yeah, so yeah. Is he gonna spend the focus and go for three hits? Or is he gonna spend the lock? He's gonna say he's spending the lock. Yeah, I think surely throwing the focus you just get the guarantee because if you roll a blank there. Now Bobba is gonna get two re-rolls if he wants it. So, spends a focus, takes two evades, loses his shield. But even Sai is going to have a range one shot here. Yeah. Mini Mons. So, but not I think they're just. Spot, yeah, I think they're just reading the card. So, the optional damage, it's not like concussion missiles. Uh, he has to spend the charge for it to trigger. Yeah. So uh, it looks like Emon's having a shot out the back into red line. Four red dice. Uh, two hits and a crit this time. Pretty good rolling. Only one defense dice. Rolls a blank, and that's another three shields gone. It's weird, isn't it, that these, that big Punisher ship has a little two dice cannon? Yeah. Uh, shouldn't Vinder have lost his shields? Bobber, yeah, Bobber knocked all the shields out, didn't he? Yeah. I can put it in chat. Cool. Oh, that's not good for Vinder, because he's going to have to spend his luck, because yeah. he's got no focus token. So I'm assuming he's going to just re-roll all four. Uh, three, sorry. That's better. One's a crit as well. What's that? Three hits and a crit? Yeah. Yes. It's only even at the most it's gonna be shields. So it gets a reroll. Uh still a blank, so is that three shields and a crit on Bobber? And this could be bad because we're gonna have the shot or still gonna have a shot. It's just a three shields on three Bobber. Three shields. Oh you one evade, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I can't count. I'm oh sorry. that's four hits. <laughs> yeah. I think he's got a force, hasn't he, with more. So yeah. yeah. So dodge two, but that's gonna be half points on Bobber. 
But you know what Bob has got? Proximity binds. I was going to say crabs. Yeah, but he's got proximity <laughs> binds, and look, look where the look where the major is. <laughs> oh, the major's only got three on that, it? Yeah, four. It's been a while since I've. Uh, yeah, sorry, four. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you can, if you can take out Bobber, though. And oh no, no. no, no! I think you're okay with that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the, the Punisher's taken a lot, though, there. I yeah. He's still got six hole left, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that, and that's it. It's like, you've given up, you've given up, uh, what, six six shields and going to get proximity mined. But then Bobber has only got, what, four hole left? Yeah. It's definitely a sad man. Be interesting to see if the shuttle can get over the top of Bobber. I was thinking a, a just a hard two. I know it's red, but just get in the way. Yeah. And then if Eamond has done a uh, proxmine, like sending it three back, you, you can still just take it, get it out of the way with the shuttle because mm. the shuttle still got all its hull. Yeah, yeah, I know. So sometimes that's that's worthwhile sending something more sort of sacrificial through those proximity mines yeah. just to trigger them. It's been quite an exciting start to the game. The first game was, <laughs> was a little cagey, but this has uh, had lots of red dice and a fair amount of damage so far. If you missed our first game, it'll be up on Twitch for a couple of weeks. You can watch it back. Uh, or if you want to check us out on YouTube... Uh, the games do get uploaded there as well. Yeah, I will. I will put them up. Well, you know, that's it. I think. I think we're doing all right, aren't we? We're sort of keeping up. Um, keeping on. Yeah, every of... every game that we've streamed since lockdown, I've managed to get up. That's good. Once I figured out how to do it. Yeah, I mean, it's quite easy actually. Yeah, it's, this is it because we do minimal editing. You know, we don't, we're not like, you know, cropping starts and finishes and stuff like that. I mean, uh, doing the transition slide that I, I, I can do on OBS, I think, helps a bit, doesn't it? Sort of gives it that sort of intro and outro. Um, but no, it's, it's been working quite well, I think. Um, I think the only thing that's missing is it'd be nice to put a proper title card on so you can see what ships are actually flying. Yeah. And uh, which like, games. The, like the thumbnail. Yeah, because. I know personally, I tend to not really look at it. I just look at what ships are flying and do I want to watch them fly. Yeah. But, you know, it can be done at some point. Maybe for this the... laptop. This laptop will not do anything. It's useless. <laughs> Maybe for the third season we can... Uh... <laughs> so I think we're just about set with dials. I've not seen any ordnance get dropped yet, but I imagine we're going to see... Something so yeah, I would have, I would have thought so. Because uh, even Emon might do something. So yeah, Emon's dropping a seismic. Oh, that's nice actually. A seismic. Yeah, it might cause Bobber some problems depending where he's moved to. But but he can also now do his cab bane boost if he wants. Uh yeah, there we go on the top of. Uh, Vidna's head, and he says hit crit. It's pretty lame. You say that, he's only on two hole now, depending on what this crit is. Could be weapons failure, maybe. No, I mean, the crit's pretty lame. That damage engine? No. One sec. Console it fire. Is console fire. Yeah. Uh, okay, so shot is bumped. So we didn't have a boost there, so he's just done a hard turn. I'll just focus. I guess he's expecting the stop from uh, Redline. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Just working out, making sure I've got the... Munitions ticked off, so a seismic and a proton there. 
We had advanced proton torps and a diamond boron missile gun from the Galactic Empire. Guess he's just trying to decide if he slams or not here. I think. Oh, it's awkward, isn't it? Looks like he is slamming. Hmm. I guess you want the extra dice. Yeah, he has got trick shot, hasn't he? So it's whether or not he dies to Bobber, I guess. Oh, he's going for it. I guess he knows where Redline's going to be, though, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, possibly. In. The Bobber's going to slave one bullet sings, I'm not sure. Oh, it might struggle. So I don't think a boost is going to get Ark onto the uh, the shot. No, the Vidna may actually survive without taking any damage this turn. Because uh, Bobber's boost is not going to get a shot. No. Uh, yeah. So and the seismic's not going to trigger off him. What are we going to see? Concussion missile. Well, that concussion missile he better not be range one. Well, I suppose if he's range <laughs> one, he's not fine. The concussion missile, is he? Because <laughs> uh, I about to say, then he'll just uh, end up flipping one of his uh, his own cards. If he's range one, he won't he won't be shooting. That's what that's what I mean. Because he's got no advanced um, proton torpedo either. Nope. But I think he'd be okay with that. He's not going to die, is he? So he's probably happy with that. Yeah. Just be nice to get that trick shot off, I guess, wouldn't it? Oh, he's gone for the boost. Mm -hmm. I think he might have him, you know. That's very close. Very close. Oh. oh, I think he probably just has, but that is very close. It may be like a pixel, and it'll just be whatever the overlay says. So I think we had an advanced sensor, yeah. as I could hear. So yeah, you have got the red stop from Redline, which Redline's probably a bit sad about. Uh... Yeah, do oh, the yeah, boost. boost, boost. Sorry, <laughs> I was like, how how's he done that? I was like, oh yeah, because and he gets a boost. target lock. Oh, oh, we got more people spamming our thing, asking if we want to become famous. We're already famous. <laughs> Come on, uh, so purge that guy, purge that guy, get rid of that. Yes, we've done the stop there, haven't he? So he's got advanced protons as well, I think. Yep. So Baba, Baba could be out of this world. Yep, so Seismic's going to go off, and uh, poor Sai did nothing to no one as losing a shield. <laughs> so he has not got Vidna in the arc. I wonder if I can zoom oh. in. That is proper close. <laughs> oh wow! Would we say it's by a, a Nat's bollock? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, I can see I can see some definite daylight there. There's, uh, but that is, uh, yeah. I mean, to to the naked eye, that say could have been in. You know that'd be a TO call in real life. See, that's that's a, what's the best thing about uh, tabletop simulator for us? We don't have to worry about those sort of things. <laughs> so two bobber re rolls. We're going to get hit crit. I imagine this is into red line. I mean, red line is in yeah. hull, so you know, yeah. this this crit is going through. I think he's considering spending his mark, which he has done. I've just remembered as well. We got a console fire on. Uh, uh, Vidno as well. Mm. So hit crit is going to uh, stick onto red line here. No, hit hit crit. Hit hit crit. Yeah. yeah. What's that crit? Uh, Disabled power regulator. Uh, so next next turn he's ioned. Yeah, yeah. Can so, you advance sensors off an ion maneuver? No, because you don't reveal a dial. Cool. I believe. I believe I read that somewhere on the internet. <laughs> but 
But we he are, does say, but we he are does gonna, say after you reveal a dial. Yeah, and we're going to have an advanced proton torp here, which uh, Bobby is going to take to the butt. And uh, he's also got his palp and a target lock. Well, yeah, so the crit's definitely sticking already. Uh, but well, we'll it's, it's probably probably two crits as well, isn't it? Well, this One is will it. change. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, so, so that's two crits, two three crits. hits. I think he's dead, isn't he? No yeah. matter what. No, well, yeah, he's taking three damage, though, isn't he? Uh, four, three damage. See, see, this is how Bobber works when I fly Bobber. He spent his uh, four, so he's not able to modify. Got. So you've got a uh, weapons failure. Could have done with that before. Blinded pilot. And deed. Get wrecked. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Uh, console fire. Yeah. Don't think he's done that. Let me just put in chat. He, he's definitely got console fire, hasn't he? So he's spending a palp force there, uh, yeah. for three and a crit, and uh, Emon blanks out and says, "I don't want those shields anymore either." Imagine they'll do the console fire afterwards. Yeah, yeah, they've seen, they've, seen, they've seen it now. Cool. I just reminded them. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Oh, he takes, I don't know, he's free and quit. Oh, he's okay. Yeah, you pretty, <laughs> as you look back at the table, you know, you know, the crit was there. But no. <laughs> just, just as I was leaving. Well. I, uh, kind of saying, oh, I get my four, I have four shields back, don't I? <laughs> so, Bobber is no more. Uh, I don't think Emon can do a hard three proximity mine into red line. I don't know. I'd probably give it a go, but I think... I, I think that gets him, you know. Alright, I bet you... uh bet you a Curly Whirly it doesn't. I'm not going to remember to buy you a Curly Whirly. <laughs> well, it's fine. We're never going to meet up in person again, so we don't need to worry about it. I know that's because I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all know that's not true. <laughs> After what you did to me at Worlds. <laughs> <laughs> Why you make me call you daddy? <laughs> I was really looking forward to going back to Minnesota again, but hey ho. Well, I, I knew I couldn't anyway because obviously I was supposed to be getting married. Yeah. Um, but now it means I also wouldn't be able to go next year as well. Because we'll be we're getting getting married next year. <laughs> well, you know what I'm doing next week? Probably going dogging again. No, not after last time. Oh. No, um, <laughs> I've got the week off because that was the first week of my two weeks off for America. Oh, God. So I, I cancelled the second week, but I was like, well, I might as well still have the week off. Yeah. So I, instead of going to America for the week, I will probably be sat in my flat for the week. Um, uh, yeah. Sounds just as good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, we're not gonna we're not gonna get heckled in a twenty four hour diner by some local again, are we? So. <laughs> Not. I don't know, you live in Garton anyway. No, so. I don't. <laughs> Levenshoe. Levenshoe, whatever, though, it's still crap. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's, uh, yeah, very fond memories of Minnesota. It's so a one day, maybe, when we can get back playing in person and real life. Yeah. I haven't even had a chance to win a, fo um, a spot yet, either. Well, this is it. I mean, they've not announced what they're doing if they're going to do anything. Uh, okay, so he's just going to drop a seismic bullet, things. Okay. I mean, at least you know it's definitely hitting. Yeah. Uh, they have said as well, though, that uh, who's doing the Cad Bane boost. Yeah. That any any world's invites will carry over to whenever it does happen. So that's pretty cool. Oh, okay, that's awesome. So I better start saving for. 20... I'm sure I've seen that somewhere. I might be wrong. So when are we thinking? Twenty twenty five might get back to. <laughs> So, Sai is coming around on a hard two, gets stressed, but doesn't have to worry about doing a coordinate here because uh, both the other ships are stressed. That's why you should have chose Vinda. You always use Vinda's ability. So, I guess... Vinda. 
Gendon. <laughs> yeah. Ignore me. Um, I was for a second there thinking, like, what, what does Ben know that I don't know? Like, no, not that I'm an idiot, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so this could be. Uh, well, I suppose he'll get a shoot back here, but he's going to be taking another. What's it got? It's not. Yeah, he's got concussion, hasn't he? On. I think I'd be half tempted just to, if um, Vinda hasn't just slam into the bump. I oh, know because he's got the um, prox mines, hasn't he? Yeah, or perhaps slam to one side. Well, he's gonna, so he's gonna take one damage from the seismic if he doesn't slam, and then he could console fire himself to death. So he's gonna take a focus, I assume, hoping that he survives console fire. I suppose it doesn't really matter because you still get to fire. Yeah, yeah, you do, you do. And you know, and he 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 knows he's ahead. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, I think now you can afford, uh, you can afford to lose, lose him here quite easily. Yeah. The so red line's taking a damage as well. So I mean, actually, I mean, although the Imperials are ahead at the moment, I mean, Red Line and Vidna are very close to death. And Red Line's ironed as well now. Yeah. So he's, it's very predictable where he's going to be. Well, I mean, that could, it could be the hard free proximity mine here, and then he just flies straight into it. Mm. Uh, so, so we've got two crits. Uh, I assume this is Red Line firing some missile. Red Line's got the diamond bore on it. Yeah. Oh. So this is three crits going. <laughs> I'm assuming he's spending a focus, is he? Yeah, I think you have to... Yeah, you can't keep it for that as much as it'd be nice to, on it? Wounded so... pilot and loose stabiliser. Oh, that's shit. Yeah. Because he doesn't really want to just do a one straight next turn, does he? No, but this yeah. is where you might, as I say, next turn you might get the hard three proximity mine in front of uh, red line next turn. Hmm. Uh, so we got a crit going in to. Let's see how many dice he rolls. Must be red line because he's rolling two dice. Okay. I guess with the focus token, maybe we don't risk it, but there's an evade. It's fine. Now, we're going to have a. I guess he's possibly banking on the idea that Vinda's going to die from a uh, console anyway. So he's going to roll. So for this it. is console. He's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> that was a proper squeaky bum moment, wasn't it? Well, this is it. So we've got a concussion missile coming out now. At least he's got no crits to flip up. Yeah. Target one months. Wow. Oh, so he's taking at least a crit. Uh, what's that hit crit? Yeah, there's fuel leak. So he's got two left. Hmm. Well, it wasn't looking too bad for the scum, but <laughs> I think I think if he the problem is is he's got a if he hard turns he takes a damage. If he goes one straight, they're just going to kill him. Yeah. Well, so I think what you could do here is, I think you perhaps do the hard three proximity mine in front of red line, but you might send... I suppose he could do the Cad Bane boost to, to get round a little bit. Mm. Uh, then he could still do the, the forward and not take the damage. What's the crit that's on red line? Oh, it's, it's, it's the ion. The, it's ion. It's, it should it'll clear next turn. Um. Yeah, so maybe you you might send uh, Vinda into the proximity mine and trigger it, and save Redline maybe, 
or doesn't really matter as long as one of them makes it through. But I was just saying, Redline would at least shoot first. I think it really matters. Yeah. I mean, he's, I guess so. he's still he's still got Sai at the back there, who's only lost a shield and has Palp on board, who can quite easily uh, take on a two health fire spray. Yeah. Not sure which one you'd prefer to die. <laughs> I don't think. You, both. I, also, I don't think you really care because, like, worst case. You're going to shoot with simultaneous fire. That's what I mean. I don't, don't think it, the Imperial player is really that bothered. Well, we've still got 43 minutes left in the game. I know. We've been <laughs> flying through, haven't they? <laughs> well, these guys were meant to be the earlier game, but they, had, they uh, kindly swapped because... Uh, I think one of the players in the uh, what we had on the, as the earlier game uh, had to play a bit earlier, so maybe they uh, need to be finished by a certain time. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like we are going to have some sort of dropping going on. See that hand hovering over the bomb template? <laughs> so, yep, definitely proximity mine and the hard three. Yeah, I don't... Well, I mean, I suppose, yeah. V Vinda could trigger it if he wants. There's the yes, he's got the boost. Don't think he's got space though for like a one forward, fix a crit, and then turn in. No. But again, like yeah. I said in the first game, it is league, so. Uh, any damage he can do is MOV at the end of the day. <laughs> what are we going to see here? Uh, suicide? <laughs> is he going to five straight or something crazy? Or three straight? Uh, okay, so he's decided not to take the damage. Not to go the one forward. But oh, he's but he's not... he's not flipped the crit either. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I think that's good in a way because like maybe you can kill both of them this turn. There we go. So Vidner is triggering the proximity mine. Uh, doesn't even need to yeah, roll. He's dead. Takes crit anyway. But that does save Redline. I mean, I, I guess Redline can only come forwards and focus here. Can't do a target lock. Because he is ionized. Um, so he, he doesn't. I think he can get the target lock because he doesn't perform a target lock action. He just uh, acquires it. Okay, just acquires a lock. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, can't boost right. though, can he? No. Unless he's. Uh, unless, he, th I think he flew one straight by mistake. Judge. So I'll pop, <laughs> pop onto the table and see what they're after. I bet they're talk. I'm sure it's just a joke. Oh, okay. I'll check there. No, I think it may be alright. They're just playing on bullet things. I mean, they can always pop down here if it is, but. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we are uh, at the end yeah, of the Yeah, they were just joking. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, it spends the target lock. Uh, no, so possibly spends a focus or might keep it for defense. Or oh, could palp, Probably I guess. Palp. Didn't palp, Please. though. So, oh, uh, actually, must have, they must have said he did. So what's he done? Taken one damage there, is that? Yeah. Five, yeah, he's done to one hull work things. What's that? Uh, wounded pilot didn't roll for the stress. Don't know. Oh, oh. yeah. Don't know what's going I on. I mean, he was just rolling for the stress, I think. Oh, okay. Um, the problem is, has he just taken one damage? Yeah. So, he either goes one forward or flies off the board. 
Oh, does a hard turn and dies. So, uh, yeah, the Imperial player's got this one then. Yeah. GG. I mean, that's it. It's, I think... If if he doesn't do a the fastest manoeuvre possible off the board, <laughs> coward. Uh, K-turn <laughs> K- 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 off the board. Because technically, although he loses the points, he, um, he doesn't die because it says escapes the battlefield, doesn't it? <laughs> In the rules. So you can always say you didn't manage to kill all my ships. Do you know uh, Sai is going to survive the game with just losing one shield as well? <laughs> mm. And also, only used his ability when it didn't matter. Uh, oh, we got a. I suppose. Oh, he's going to drop a proximity mine. I was about to say, maybe. You, you, I mean, how, how many holes? I think more than one left on red line, isn't it? Like two. Yeah, two. So, yeah, I think, yeah. I think you have to drop the proximity mine and hope he he goes. Hey, there's a key turn off the <laughs> I ball. knew he was going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a coward. Boost, boost back, but yeah, he, he's, he's, he's off. <laughs> uh, should, should we jump in with him? Yeah, let's go there. <laughs> no, yeah. You really are live now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were just saying, like, you know, if you didn't do the K turn off the board, we'd be very disappointed. Well, I'm glad I did not disappoint you, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> That was a bit of a bloodbath, weren't it? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> we, were, we, we were saying at the start, like uh, the first game was quite cagey and didn't really see any much action for the first like twenty thirty minutes, and uh, we've actually finished with thirty seven minutes left on the clock. Sure have. <laughs> yeah, but with completely hey, the wrong score. I'm just here to smash your back door in. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's actually on his business card. You sure. Usually buy him a drink first, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I, I, can, I can take two inches. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, hold, on, hold on, where are we getting the other inch from? <laughs> <laughs> Normally, we'd say well, where, where do you think it went wrong, but I think it was just a brutal game of dice and uh, crits and. Yeah. I, I have to say, his crits were quite quite unpleasant and quite uh, populist. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Baba got himself trapped in a wedge of death. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. I think, and that's it. Like, Sai had even just had a broadside range one focus token, and was just like, yep. "Yeah, this is this is I'm I'm fine with this. This is this is good." Uh, I, I, I was very happy with how that turn went. <laughs> I can't. I cannot seem to lose a game on Hexeld or win a game on Sith. <laughs> uh, Something's going wrong here. I've never <laughs> lost on Sith. It's time to get a game on Hexeld then. <laughs> <laughs> I've never won on Hex. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I, uh, I I underestimated the quite killing power of Redline. And in fairness, the boost after the hard stop was just horrendous. Yeah. Like, that's oh, yeah. Make all day. He's like boost. I'm like what do you mean boost? Oh, and they were swearing. Yeah, well, that was it. I was like, I was like, I was like, how, how, have I misread your card or what, what? What what's going on here? And then suddenly, oh no, it's advanced sensors boost. Oh my word, what's he? Oh, it's. Horrendous. How much yeah. more pleasant would life have been if that hadn't happened? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got right behind that yellow rascal. So uh, I was actually hoping he didn't boost because then I had to focus. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and I just taken the focus and stayed still. It's like I think, oh, I, I think, I think, I think his rolling three natural crits probably did it. Uh, well, that was later in the game. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. That was when it really mattered. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, oh. yeah. Cheers for coming on, guys. Uh, it was an entertaining game, nonetheless. As long as I keep entertaining you, Jeb, and I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, there, my, um... sorry, my opponent can pop more of a fight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a reason that you took um, Sai over Gender? Uh, yeah, I wanted the 10 point bid. Is uh, that it? For, yeah, yeah, like, honestly, with this list, it's not that hard to get the target locks because Redline gets them and so you can just coordinate vendor going into the first engage. Yeah. So the logs aren't that hard to get, and I wanted the ten point bid for the Nantex matchup. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what I said yeah, at the start. But looking at the one ninety right, points, yeah. is it seemed quite that this was a a, a Nantex list. Yeah, yeah, like 
size kind of nice, but it's it's literally just for the extra couple of points bid and. <laughs> There's no point having a 14 point bid going for the I1. So, no, no, definitely. Yeah, this is where I like this. And yeah, <laughs> like, the, the ability is sometimes nice, <laughs> but it's one of those if you get it, you get it, but it is not something that is tried for. Yeah, you know, I, I love this list, but Nantex has retired it. It can't beat it. Uh, it makes it distinctly unfun. And the rest of the format is now all running I5 and I6s to beat Nantex. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody I run into is Boba smashing. I mean, is that a bad thing? Yeah, nope. I know. I know everyone hates him. <laughs> but I've had a lot of fun playing Boba Fett for the last six months. <laughs> and now I have to play ships where I don't get the chance to dial. <laughs> now we have to try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Slave one is my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks both for coming on. Um, that will probably do us for this evening. Uh, so we'll we'll wrap the stream up there. Thanks to everybody for watching. And oh, uh, Tim, before you go, uh, can you just give us the score quickly so we can put it in? Certainly. 196 to 96. Yeah. No, 296 even. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it was uh, fairly one-sided uh, at the end there. But we thought uh, there was a time where, you know, potentially you could have knocked out Redline and, and Vinda. But then when um, was it the three crits or whatever went into um, uh, Emon? It was sort of yeah, that, and not to mention the the four hits with the th three blanks, which was just fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the trick shot concussions. Oh, <laughs> that is filth. Gotta love him. <laughs> you know, he'd, be, he'd be in floods of tears telling you all about his dice if he hadn't won this. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Because uh -huh. he knew he wasn't going to lose. No. Yeah, eight crits is expected five. That sounds about right. <laughs> so we got all, all extra three. That's crits. <laughs> yeah, but none of, none of them were double damage. You're still dead. <laughs> well, technically speaking, the loose stabilizer was a crit, basically a direct damage waiting to happen. Oh, that, that was a shit one, weren't it? I could have, I could have, I could have fixed it, but I was like, why bother? <laughs> like, seriously, I'm going to try and kill Redline and go out and win glory. Te technically, in the grand scheme of things, that ship didn't actually die, it fled the battlefield. I still get the points. He still gets the points, but you can say that he didn't manage to kill all your ships. I, no, I, no. Uh, technically, he did die because he revealed a full he turned. <laughs> Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> which was not a straight maneuver. <laughs> uh, should have had been boosted him off the board. <laughs> <laughs> you can't boost off the board. You should have just done the four straight or something. I could have failed the boost. That'd be fun. Then be stressed. <laughs> yeah, do the white too forward. <laughs> yeah, off the board. <laughs> Hi right, guys, oh. any any uh, shout outs before we go or you uh Oh I thought I... we weren't even live anymore. No no you're still still oh. live. Oh right. Uh... <laughs> I, I'd say hey mum, but it's unlikely she's watching this. <laughs> and she doesn't like you either. Well, show you out show you out to the rest oh. of the Todd squadron who aren't watching this game. There's a few In people. Fairness, I, I do have a magic pro tour picture of me holding I love my mama card. <laughs> which did make it all the way around the world. <laughs> Cool. All right, well, well, we'll leave it there then, guys. So, uh, cheers for being on again, and we'll catch you later. Thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah, cheers.